good afternoon everyone uh, my name is shridhar mohanty today we will solve one of the problem in mnd lab that is modeling and analysis lab for six semester mechanical engineering vt as per the vt syllabus so these are the some of the questions according to the vtu syllabus okay so let us solve this particular problem now the problem is like this uh, we have to do the stat static structure analysis of bar of uniform cross section so length of the bar is 1000 mm it's given and the axial load is applied at the free end and given uh, the data are the young's modulus is given that is 2 into 10 power of 5 newton per mm square and then poisson's ratio gets given in the question 0.3 and length is given as 1000 mm and the load p is given as 1000 1000 mm so let's see how to solve this problem using ansys software so we are using over here ansys pen okay uh, ansys pen we are using So first, we have to go to preferences. Here, select structural. Then press on OK. This is a structural type of problem. We have to define that first. Then go to preferences and select element type and select add, edit, or delete. And here select add. And here uh, select. the element type as link to uh, this power one you select this and link and to this power one and press on open and press on close and then go to uh, real constants and then go to add edit or delete press on add press on okay and here uh, give in the question uh, the area uh, if it is Area uh, actually uh, it's given in the question as 500 mm square. Okay, so area A equal to 500 mm square. Uh, it's not written over here, but it's uh, in the question generally they have to give the area. Okay, so they, uh, let's assume they have given the area as 500 mm square. So that is the cross sectional area. If I cut this, the cross sectional area is 500 mm square. So let us define that area here. So that is 500 mm square. Click on OK. Click on Close. And then go to Material Properties. Then we have to define the material properties. Go to Material Model. And then uh, here go to Structural. Here I select from Linear. Select Elastic. Select Isotropy. And let us define the Young's Modulus. E X stands for Young's Modulus and P R X C. We are expressed terms for Poisson's ratio. Young's modulus is uh, two into ten power of five. It's uh, given the question. You can see over here. It's given as two into ten power of five newton per mm square, and Poisson's ratio equal to zero point three. So, okay, here, uh, okay, here Young's modulus two e five. So two into ten power of five is basically like two e five, and Poisson's ratio is zero point three. Okay, after typing this, press on OK, and close this. Okay, and then uh, go to modeling. We have to create uh, the actual nodes and elements as in the question. So in the question, uh, actually. Only one. Uh, you can take this as one element and two nodes. Node one and node two. So let us define node one and node two here. So create here. Go to nodes in create modeling. Create nodes in that in active CS. Click on that. So here uh, node one equal to. You can type either. Zero 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 as the x, y, and z coordinates, or you can keep empty. If you keep empty, also it's the same as zero. And press on 
apply so node 1 is created then node 2 so node 2 is at a distance of 1000 mm as in the question so type here x coordinate has 1000 1000 0 0 plus 1 okay. so now we have two nodes node 1 over here and node 2 at the right hand side with a distance of 1000 mm as per the given question now we have to join these two nodes using elements so let us join these two elements go to elements auto number and here through nodes click on node 1 and node 2 press on ok so now we have created the element as per the given question two nodes with a distance of 1000 mm and we have added them okay now we have to apply the boundary condition so what are the boundary condition uh, you can see over here left side it is completely fixed no? and at the at the right node it, the force t is applied which is equal to 1000 mm so let's define that so go over here go to solution and in that define loads apply structural displacement and select solution define loads apply structural displacement on nodes and here select on leftmost node since it is completely fixed select all dof and press on ok now it is completely constrained or completely fixed left then we have to apply a force which is equal to 1000 newton to the left uh, right right now so select the force or moment on nodes select right most node and click on ok and this uh, x axis so select x uh, fx and value is 1000 newton type here 1000 if it is not there 1000 or whatever value no uh, write it here so since the value of t is 1000 and then click on ok now we have created the nodes and then we have created the elements and then we applied the boundary conditions next step is solution i have to solve this problem solution select solve current ls and press on ok so now you can see where your solution is done so this says so we have done properly and it has software ANSYS has solved us for, the, for this one. So we have completed the preprocessor and the solution. Let us go to general processor in order to retrieve the results. Here, uh, go to general processor and then here go to element table. So element table is over here and then select on define table. Click on add and now here user lab item uh, so uh, we have to write a code i will type sa1 and that's by sequence number this is standard code okay uh, ls comma one okay press on okay press on close next uh, select general post processor in that plot results in that contour plot in that contour plot, select on element table and select on SAX1 or SA1 and press on the S yes average here, S average and press on OK. Now, here we can see SMN and SMX equal to 2, which says the stress developed, maximum stress developed in the, this element is 2 Newton per mm. Okay. And DMX stands for the extension is 0 0.01. Okay. And next, general post pressure. And in that plot results, in that contour plot, in that nodal solution, and DOF solution, NDF solution, X component of displacement, so X one OK. So now you can see 0 0.01 is the DMX, that's the maximum displacement or the extension.
okay now we have found out stress that is 2 newton per mm square and then extension as uh, 0.01 mm now let us see how to find out the reaction so you have to go to list results uh, so your general force pressure list results and here uh, you have to go to reaction solution and press on all items and press on ok so you can see minus thousand so minus thousand is the reaction okay so this is how we have to uh, solve the problem okay so this is uh, about the problem number one as per uh, the sixth term uh, modeling analysis lab according to vtu syllabus okay so we'll continue with our next problem in our next video thank you for watching